อือฮะ Look how slimy and gross it looks. Hello, this is Ken. I like making things. I love finding affordable ways to DIY a variety of things. Money can't buy everything, except maybe figures. I love collecting figures and recreating iconic scenes. Every figure deserves to shine on my display. So every week, I ask myself the same question and answer it by creating something I'm proud of. Join my weekly adventure by subscribing to my channel. Leave your feedback and suggestions down below. I often get inspired by your comments, and I hope I can inspire you too. Last week, I fixed two disappointing Infinity War figures: the Mark 50 Iron Man figure and Nomad Steve Rogers. My Infinity War collection is shaping up nicely. Check that video out. The sequel to Venom is here, this time featuring Venom and Carnage. I wasn't a huge fan of the first movie, but now I'm excited. Here's the Venom figure. I actually missed out when it first came out. Because I thought it looked strange without the spider symbol, but the design has been growing on me since. I have a few questions regarding this particular one I have here. Something seems off about this figure. Otherwise, it's a pretty impressive figure. So, let's, let's deconstruct, deconstruct this, this figure. figure. First, the paint job for the eyes are off. One eye is higher than the other. The paint on the teeth is also not very consistent. The veins on his torso are very thick, and the stroke seems a bit sloppy. They look more like lightning bolts than veins. I think I got a knockoff figure. The mold seems fine. It's the overall paint job. It just seems sloppily done. If I do a bit of touch-up on the eyes, the teeth, and the veins, I think I can make this figure look like the original again. That's my analysis. It doesn't mean this figure isn't great. I just wanted to make it even better. So, can I make it? It's refreshing to be mostly using black to fix the figure. Let's start with the veins. I'm going to use the black paint to redefine the veins by making them thinner. Hmm. 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 Okay, this is a bit more challenging than I expected. But wait. I noticed that the veins are actually molded onto the sculpt. Okay, Plan B. I'm going to cover up all the existing veins and paint them back in. That seems easier to do, and I have more control too. I just have to follow the mold. Easy peasy. But wait, acrylic paint dries matte. Venom is supposed to be all slimy and gooey, so I'm going to apply a coat of glossy varnish before I paint the veins. So the texture looks wet and slimy. I'm gonna apply it randomly here and there, so it gives the impression of it being slimy but not soaking wet. Okay, it's time for the veins. I'm using my very fine brush again. All I need to do is to follow the mold. Just follow the mold. Follow the lines, like solving mazes. Except I'm not good at solving mazes, so that's not a good metaphor. Okay, this is trickier than I thought. I can't have too much paint on the brush, or my lines will be too thick. But on the other hand, I can't create lines if there isn't enough paint on the brush either. And on top of that, I have to make sure my hands are steady. I want the veins to look organic and gross, like they're bursting out of the body. The veins shouldn't look too white throughout. Some of the branches should be a bit faded to give them more dimension, and there shouldn't be any parallel lines. The veins should go in sporadic directions, but also moving down the body. The same goes for the shoulder areas. The veins should look like they are somewhat connected to the ones on his body, so the illusion doesn't break apart too much when posing. And finally, the veins on his arms and hands. These ones are kind of fun to draw because they're much simpler. Okay, that's enough veins for a lifetime. Time to work on the head. This head has the same issue. The eyes are too asymmetrical, and there's missing paint on his teeth. This is optional, but I decided to add a bit of blue onto his eyes so they aren't just pure white. I want the eyes to look a bit more 3D, 
Having them all white make them look flat. I'm also reshaping the eyes so they're more symmetrical. Next, I'm gonna paint the teeth back in. All right, here's the before and after. I know the eyes look very blue up close, but I think they'll look better as a whole with the body. Here's the head with the tongue out. Yeah, that eye definitely needs a bit of paint work. Let's bring his left eye back down a bit by adding some white paint. And then I'm gonna add a bit of blue again to add more dimension to the eyes. Then I'm gonna fix his teeth, making it look more like individual teeth rather than a blob of paint. I'm also gonna add a bit of red to his tongue. His tongue needs to look gross too. I'm adding a couple of black lines to connect the upper and lower part of his jaw. It's very subtle, barely noticeable. And I'm gonna finish this by adding another coat of glossy varnish all over the head, making it slimier. Okay, here's the before and after for this head. Again, the eye seems too blue here, but let's see how it looks with the body now. Let's start with the closed mouth head. As a whole, this looks so much better. The veins are not as in your face as before. They look like they're extruding out of the body. And the eyes, they look fine with the body. You may be wondering why I went with blue for the eyes. It's because the first Venom movie had a very blue hue to it. But when I think of the movie, the first thing that pops up in my mind is the color blue. Okay, here's the other head with the body. The eyes are much better now. And the tongue? It looks disgusting. Perfect for Venom. I'm quite satisfied with the result. I like how slimy he looks now. And I love how the veins turned out. He looks gross and slimy and gooey. Let's end the video with some photos. I don't like this head at all, but in a good way. It looks so small on him, but it's also very creepy looking. Imagine seeing this face in the dark alleyway at night. Quite unsettling. But it's actually very fun to pose, especially with a glossy texture. Light just bounces off him in a very interesting way. Okay. I've had enough of this head. I'm gonna have nightmare tonight. Let's switch to the other head. Ah, much better. This is the Venom I like. Venom isn't Venom without his tongue. But he looks a bit too tall when he stands like that. Let's put him in dynamic poses. There we go. That looks more like it. There's this chaotic energy to him. And he looks like he's having the time of his life no matter what pose I put him in like a party, but just by himself. What do you think? Do you like what I've done? Give this video a like. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Now I can't wait till Venom meets Spider-Man and gets the spider symbol. That would make a very cool diorama. I thought about making one for Venom himself, but there wasn't any interesting scenes I liked in the first movie. Hope there are some in the sequel with Carnage. I would love to make a diorama display for them. Hurry Hasbro, release the Carnage figure. Until then, stay inspired and I'll see you next week. I can make it, so can you.